Yeah, I do that with my dad a lot. He'll yeah. be pretty proud that you know Tell that your already. dad he's the man. Hey, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, Deanna, do you mind if I show you something? No, Jesse, sure. Jesse, can you come here? It's my buddy. It's my buddy, Jesse from okay. Colorado. And Deanna, if you could just hang out a little bit. What can you, you do me a favor? What are you doing to me? Just turn around like this. Yeah, put this cup on top of your head. We call this the Robin Hood, Deanna. OK. Uh, and, and I want you to understand that I haven't really warmed up or anything. The pressure's on. I mean, I would not normally go kicking lemons off people's heads, but I need this attention from Deanna. Oh, dear. So, how about not kicking me in the head? If you're nervous, you're going to make me nervous. And Dude, you know what I'm happens. not nervous. I, my just neck, don't be nervous. Put your head back. My neck. It's I'm, just a neck. You kick me in the head, I swear to God. When and I, you know what the sad thing is? I even had a few drinks, so yeah. seriously. Well, when I wake up, I'm going to kick you in the nuts five times. <laughs> the last time I did this, I hurt somebody. Yeah, well, don't hurt me, dog. Don't be afraid. Seriously, don't yeah. be afraid. Well, Are you ready? I can't ready? see nothing. Because I'm getting nervous. He's making me nervous. He's, I'm breaking out in a sweat. All right, get ready, Jesse. Do you trust me? Uh, no. I'm a professionally trained martial arts instructor. Kids, don't try this at home. Oh my god. Oh, nice. John kicked a lemon off of Jesse's head. It's kind of weird, but it caught my attention. I just I wanted to make sure that I at least got some alone time with you. You know, that I may be a martial artist, but I also have a very sensitive side. Bam! I kicked it right off my head. I was like, ooh, I almost pooed my pants, man. <laughs> wow, I got some good notes. Oh, good. Oh. I was very glad to have Jenny's help tonight, and I am excited to hear her opinion because she knows exactly what it's like to be in this situation. You could give a first impression rose. Okay. Give me three choices. Hmm. I would say Graham. Okay. I thought it was very nice and yes. very well spoken. I thought Jesse was awesome. Yeah. He has a good sense of humor. Yes. And Jason. Okay. I thought he was pretty cool. That sounds perfect. That sounds so good. Yay. Thank you so much for You're coming. Welcome. Good luck. I wish you the best, honey. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. You're I'm so happy for Deanna that she has this amazing opportunity. There's definitely some guys that stand out here, and I think she's definitely going to have a hard time choosing. Would you accept this? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I gave my second rose to Jesse because when he stepped out of the limo, I had one impression of him. He didn't get very dressed up to meet me tonight. His jacket's kind of loud. After getting to talk to Jesse, he has a great personality, and I really, really liked that about him. The second rose given to Jesse, I think I helped him with that. I think I deserve half that rose. Huh? You know, at least I put on a suit tonight. I mean, this guy came in a pair of jeans. If that guy got a rose, uh, I'm not seeing why I couldn't get one. One rose left. There's one rose left. Any bets? I'm getting extremely nervous. I mean, it's getting down to the wire here. Going home is not an option for me. I've got to get that rose. Up next, only one first impression rose remains. You don't take the bull by the horns, I don't think you have a chance. And the guys will do anything to get it. <laughs> so do I get that last roll? Did you get a towel? Who will impress Deanna? <laughs> and who won't? I will go through the fire. I can take the suffering. I will get that rose. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, one rose. Yeah. If you don't take the bull by the horns, I don't think you have a chance. I'm not ready to go. No, I'm not going anywhere, dude. The second rose was just given out. And there's way more pressure to get that third one. There's two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Game's tied. Tighten up. I think the competition for Deanna's attention is really high right now. No one wants to say it, but I think everyone's really nervous about the rose. They want to make sure that they're not going to go home tonight. Let's have a rumble, man. Let's have a rumble. Oh, wow. When you've lived on the streets as long as I have lived on the streets, you learn how to dance a foot loose. First impression, I might be a little, little bit out there. I might be a little bit crazy. You don't even know. I swear to God, I'm not. <laughs> Some of these guys are acting like idiots, and Greg doesn't need to do that. I will go through the fire. I can take the suffering. I will get that rose in the end, period. You got a lot of different levels with me. Compassionate, poetic, and the wild boy. I thought I noticed some tattoos. What about you, tattoos? I have no tattoos. Actually. No tattoos? I have no Oh, OK. This night is insane. I do definitely sense a competitiveness between the guys. I'll tell you what's next, y'all. I'm going to call her on over. <laughs> I think a couple of 
people are desperate to um, to get her attention. I told you I was gonna call on you earlier. Is that a turkey call? Close. It's actually a duck call. Oh, okay. You know, it's actually a duck call. You brought call. me a duck call. Oh. Oh. So you want to give it a whirl? No. She's a Southern Belle. And I wish we just had time, just me and her. I really want her to get a feel for who I really am. That's why I'm here. Let me see your hand. OK. Darling, I'm from Virginia Beach. You know, born and raised in the South. I'm a hometown kind of guy. I didn't get my one-on-one -on -one time like I wanted. I was with Chandler. I know you're a hometown kind of girl. Yep. And that's who I am. Good. This is all really first impressions. Who stands out? And I need to stand out. But I've got these abs of steel that I would love to show you. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right. Feel the abs. <laughs> right there. Okay. <laughs> Deanna, I'm a hometown kind of guy, and I'll be. <laughs> it is real long. He, I mean, he's sitting over here blowing a kazoo. That you brought. That's yours. Well, you know what? I'm man enough to set it down, so. <laughs> you guys are competitive type, huh? Look at him. I'm just sitting here trying to talk to you. <laughs> You're just trying to Re fall reasonable in love. conversation. I'm trying to fall in love, too. I hate to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your coat. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much for letting me wear it. I've seen guys in there get squashed. There's so much pressure. Nothing could have prepared me for this. And I just need to go for it. Canada, I'm going out. I'm going to promise you. I'm going to get a rose tonight. I'm from small town Canada, you know, I'm a typical country boy. And I was born and raised on a farm. Really? Oh, yeah, my whole life. Now I work in the city. Oh, yeah? But I have that small town mentality. It, it says something, you know, I kind of have two personalities. You know, like, <laughs> I, I'm here standing here today, and I'm thinking, there's a, there's a great pool. Why isn't anybody swimming in there yet? If you get in that pool tonight, I get a you could probably I get catch that last pneumonia. First, I'll get that last first impression <laughs> rose. I'll be worried about sending you to the hospital. Right. No, don't you dare We're get in that in. pool. I, I want Don't. That last it's row. probably so cold. You're gonna hurt yourself. I want that last I'm row. serious. You probably shouldn't do that. Oh my god! <laughs> he really just jumped in the pool. I know CPR. Oh my god! So do I get that last row? Can we get a towel? <laughs> it's gotta be freezing. Oh, I actually yeah. have my my swim trunks on. Oh, okay. Uh, I, got, I got to go over my serious side with you. Oh, okay. And I really wanted to let you know my oh, fun okay. side. Take it off, baby. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're, they're custom made for you. Good Lord, my name is on the back of this boy's booty. Who got him a towel? Is anybody oh, out no, of a towel? No, let's go inside. <laughs> let's, man, air dry. Oh, let's, let's go inside. Let's yeah. go inside. <laughs> He's got Deanna on his butt, and I'm, I'm you know, wow. OK, good job. Way to go. It's not what I would do, but it was definitely ballsy. Stay warm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me throw this jacket on here. Wow. Who does that? You got some shrinkage going. You better close that jacket up. You know, sometimes you do those things, and afterwards you think about them. All the guys kind of, you know, looked and laughed, but I bet you he's going to end up with a rose because, you know, that just shows he's a fun-loving personality. He's willing to, you know, take the plunge, if you will. I would love to put another suit on right now. <laughs> your family's going to be proud. How's your night going? It's going well. How is your night going? My night is getting better, steadily. Graham is easy to look at. He's my type, 100%. And um, I've been looking forward to having time to talk to him. Let me remember, you are from... South Carolina? I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina. Yes. And now you live in New York. Yes, I live in New York now. What do you do in New York? Right now, I'm an investor in several different bars. But what I'm actually doing is I'm in the process of starting my own charity for children with uh, illnesses, like a scholarship fund. That's so cool. I definitely admire you for that. I wouldn't know where to begin with something like that. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to be able to speak to somebody and be proud of what you do. Yeah. Um, be passionate and know that you're making a difference in somebody else's life. Yes. So are you still bartending now? Um, I just manage now. I uh, no, bartended for nine years. I can relate. Really? So you can sling drinks, huh? I can sling That's a few. Wow. I'll probably show you up. <laughs> I believe it. Uh, if I wasn't intimidated <laughs> before, I am now. What's the deal with, with the, the bands? It's a basketball thing. Um, when I was a little kid, I read a book. And the guy in the book, Four Rubber Bands, is as a reminder of, of his goals and dreams. So I, I have been wearing rubber bands ever since to never lose who I was and know that you can do whatever you want if you really, really, really put your mind to it. That's good. I like that. Yeah. I like that very much. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel like the luckiest woman in the world right now. The guys are all so handsome. 
They're all so well educated, they have great careers, but there is one more first impression rose and there is one guy who stood out.